To add a new comment in Stellarium, once you have it open on the left-hand side, click on Configuration Window or click F2. From the menu options on top, click on Plugins. And on the left-hand side navigation menu, near the very bottom, there is an option called Solar System Editor. If you don't have this checked at Load at Startup, make sure this is checked before you close out of this so that the next time you open this up, the plugin will automatically load for you. So now click on Configure. We're going to leave everything in this tab alone, and we're going to go to the second tab called Solar System. On the very bottom, we have this option called Import Orbital Elements in MPC Format. So click on that. And we have two types that we can select, asteroids and comets. So of course we want comets. And in the option to download a list of objects from the internet, we are going to click this drop down and click on Gideon Van Butenen Comets, who has very nicely gathered this list for us. And we have the URL here that's automatically full, filled based on the drop down list here. If for some reason you don't see this, I will have the link here in the description below. So go there, copy and paste it there. But it should be there if you're using the base version of Stellarium. And then we click on Get Orbital Elements. So it took a little, it took a few seconds. It loaded all of the elements. Uh, we have two options here, override existing objects only or add new and update existing objects. Just keep it on the second option. I believe this is checked by default. I don't remember if I had this checked on. It saves the option, but update only orbital elements. It has a lot of comets here, but we want to search for a comet 2023 A3 Suchinshan Atlas. So that's one of the lists and it's not one that's checked. So you can click on this. Make sure this is checked and we'll click on add objects. And so once that's done, we can close out of this. And in the solar system tab here, if we scroll down, we should see 2023 Suchin Shan Atlas. You can see the last couple that I added were uh, like NeoWise, Atlas, and ZTF. Um, PanStars, I believe, was already here. So we have that. Now we can close this. Close this. Now you can search for this, but if you. So I know exactly when this is going to come up. So date and time. So tomorrow morning around like 4 p.m., 4 a.m. around the east. There we go. There it is. And this is before sunrise around 6 a.m. You can see how quickly it moves. So around like 6 a.m. is probably going to be the best option that I have. And if we look at how high up it is it's about four degrees so it's pretty difficult for me so you can use this to figure out where in the sky it'll be um let me turn this off and then you can see that by like 7 p 7 a.m the comet is here the sun is up you will not be able to really see it but you know this is not this is not a live view of what the comet looks like it's just a placeholder image if you have any questions let me know in the comments below and we may have yet another comet heading our way at the end of october to beginning of november on September 27, 2024, a new comet designated A11BP7I, which could be officially nicknamed C2024S1 Atlas if it passes all the tests, was discovered as a new Sun Grazer comet. So we saw a Sun Grazer comet during the total solar eclipse in, on April 8th. And it's expected to be a magnitude of negative 7, which is brighter than Venus. What? Currently, southern sky gazers will be able to observe this comet. But once it comes around the sun at the end of October, northern sky gauges like myself should be able to see it. I'm really excited for it and I hope I get a chance to image it. Comets are so cool. Clear skies.